Have you ever heard of Ebbinghaus's forgetting curve? This model demonstrates how quickly people can forget the information that they recently learn. In the model, it suggests that people forget 50% of what they've learned within the first hour and over 70% of what they've learned within the first 24 hours. Now, you can see as a provider that this is a pretty big deal when it comes to patient education and what they actually retain when they leave your office. But lucky for you as a ChiroUp subscriber, you have a hack to the Ebbinghaus forgetting curve, and that is called the ChiroUp condition report. So as a subscriber, you should be pretty familiar with how this works, but let's say your patient comes in and they're diagnosed with adhesive capsulitis. You now send them home with a report. The way that this is combating that Ebbinghaus forgetting curve uh, is that one of the things that they suggest to combat this and to help people re retain information more is to have them repetitively looking at the same information. So constantly learning, constantly going back and reviewing it. This condition report is exactly what allows them to do that. So now when they go home, when they forget what was adhesive capsulitis, they now know, oh, it's frozen shoulder and they can read about it. So when their spouse or family asks what's going on, they can feel empowered to explain their condition. They're also going to remember what to expect when they come into office for treatment with you. Now, this third section is one of my favorite parts of the condition report. It shouldn't be overlooked. This helps to outline their expected improvement. We know as providers that there's a lot of times patients will have this common misconception that they can expect 100% improvement. We know that that's not the case. And so if they're expecting 100%, but you're expecting 75%, and you hit that 70% overall improvement, to you, that's a win, right? But to the patient, they're disappointed because they were expecting 100. So it's really important to reiterate this fact so that they have accurate expectations for what to expect so that when, when they hit that 75%, you both can be celebrating that improvement. The last two sections are gonna be their ADLs and their exercises. I love this because it's now empowering your patient to be active in their care. You could spend the entire time in clinic explaining this stuff to him and what the Ebbinghaus model shows is that they're going to forget 70% of it by the next day. So now they can constantly go back to this information and feel empowered with what they can be doing at home. And it's all at their fingertips. So start prescribing and start combating that Ebbinghaus forgetting curve.